Hi everyone, this is Martin, I'm Lucas. Today we want to do a little follow-up video about this pedal. In the tutorial video um, we frequently get the question how you can install an LED and today we want to show you how. This pedal is basically inspired by the JHS Little Black Amp box and it is a passive attenuator. Uh, it is very simple, you have a volume knob, works like the volume on your guitar, and you have a foot switch. And that's about it, so yeah. far. So far. So we frequently got the question, how do you make this pedal have an LED? The answer is fairly simple though. You have to use a 3 PDT switch instead of the DPDT switch that we used in our tutorial because you need an additional switch that is activated by the button. And you will separate the whole circuit for the LED from your passive circuit. This enables you to use the pedal even if you're not having a power supply for your LED. So if you don't have a battery or you don't have any more outputs left on your power supply, mm -hmm. you can still use the pedal fine and it will work just exactly the same way. So what you will have to do is use the three PDT switch and on that one I will insert the schematics. You will just have a resistor and the LED and obviously the plus and the minus from your input or from the battery connector. So yeah, that's it. The thing you will have to do is you have to calculate what resistor you would want to use. Because if you're not having a resistor in it, you will burn the LED up. The current will increase and mm -hmm. yeah, your LED will be destroyed after some time. So you will need to calculate this. And this is also depending on the LED. We'll insert a link into the description to a page where you can insert the data of your LED and it will calculate for you the value of the resistor. This is the minimum value. So if you want to adjust the brightness of that LED, you can put a potentiometer in series of the resistor and then increase the value of it to reduce the brightness. I would not suggest you to only use a potentiometer because if you go further down, then the value that is suggested by the page uh, yeah, you will also have the problem of damaging your LED over time. Potentiometer doesn't need to be large. It can be a smaller one that you will just have also inside with the resistor that you can only adjust from inside of the pedal. So there is no issue with that. Yeah, and that's about it. So with that, you already have the mod then. You can still use the pedal without any power. It's still the same passive circuit. You can also use just the tutorial that we've made. So every, everything stays the same. You just have an additional switch where you will have the separate circuit for your LED. That's it. With that, thanks for watching and hope to see you in another video. Bye. Bye bye.